Okay, hey guys, it's Gamer 2410 here. Welcome back to some more Kingdom Hearts. Now you know what, I think I'm gonna stick with the slow intro. I'm just not a very fast talker, I guess. So, anyways, yeah, welcome back to Kingdom Hearts. <clears throat> um. To be honest, I have no idea what um, I'm doing, actually. Oh no, yeah, um, I think we're gonna, yeah, okay, we're sealing. I believe this is when we're gonna, um, well, first we'll have a boss fight with the guy we had a boss fight in Traverse Town before, the armor guy. I think his name is Opposite, Op excuse me. Opposite armor, I believe his name is this time. And we're gonna have a boss fight with him, and then we're going to seal the keyhole here. Fun times, yeah. And, um, to help me, I enlisted. I enlisted the assistance of. Someone you should all be acquainted with if you watched my earlier videos, um... Haritos. The refreshing orange Mexican soda. Mandarina. So... Looking for a refreshing way to refresh yourself? Try Haritos! I'm not a very good um advertiser, but you know I can get the job done, and that's what matters at the end of the day. So it's all good. Woohoo! Um, I don't really feel like fighting these um fat guys because to be honest, they're just a pain to um deal with. For some reason I remember them being really easy, and I mean that memory was um, wrong, obviously, but I don't know why, because I'm playing on um, normal again, like I did last time. As I've mentioned, I, um, I've played through a pretty big portion of this game, but I never beat it. But yeah, um, I don't know, I remember them being easy, but I they're not that easy, um, it's kind of weird. It's just really... I don't know. Anyways, did they just spawn like 20 more? Obviously not 20, but come on. I'm gonna... I'm done with him, you know. Anyways, um... Let's go see how the Dalmatians are doing. We've saved a lot, so we can get a couple... I think two? How many? I don't know. We can get some presents from them. And, um, I'm gonna drink some orange Mexican soda. Only good Mexican food. I don't like Mexican food, except this. It's not really food. I don't even know how Mexican it is. Anyways, we got some gummy, um, parts, and if you're not gonna really build any gummy ships, like me, then, um, you probably don't care, like me. Although, actually, can you sell the gummy parts for, um, money? Because that could actually, um, make me interested in getting more expensive gummy parts and, um, than selling them, obviously. I guess I'll check sometime if I remember. You know. I really don't want to deal with these guys, by the way. But I believe there's another Dalmatian chest. Uh, somewhere in the vicinity. And when I say I believe there's another chest, I mean the guy is telling me there's another chest, so, um. 
It's a pretty safe bet, you know. But... What is it? You have to do like a trinity mark somewhere? I think it's at this water little, um... I don't know what you'd call it. It's not a river, obviously. Anyways, do this trinity mark and... I guess there's something back here in the secret waterway. Um, what is back here? Who is that? Oh, it's, um... Eris and Leon or um, Squall, whatever you prefer. Anyways, blah blah blah. Every world has a different keyhole. Um, I'll explain it to you guys. You know. Anyway, so the Heartless, they used the keyhole to um, destroy the world, and um, we have to. We have to turn the keyholes into pureness and uh, save the world, so. There you go. Would you rather read all that text or just hear it from me? Anyways, keep bugging Leon and he will give you a nice stone that you will want. And apparently, Sid is a gummy enthusiast. Anyways, get the Earth Shine stone because you do want it. And if you don't get it, then I will kill you. So, get it. And, um. Okay, yeah, there's the Dalmatian. And the chest right there. And I think, um. We can get another present now from the Dalmatians. So, let us go do that. It's quite refreshing, you know? I'll stop talking about it. This magnificent orange Mexican soda. Do 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 <laughs> There's my dog barking. I have no idea why I did that. We get a Thundara G and I believe um those are the gummy that's the kind of gummy that um the Thunder variants are the machine guns. I don't know, if I do edit a gummy ship, and it won't really be a full edit, but I'll definitely do it on video, and it would really just be, um, putting a million guns on my gummy ship. I don't know if that's possible, but, um, I don't know, someone, please, tell me. Because, um, I will, you know. If you can just put like tons of machine guns on your gummy ship, I would totally do that. Actually, Sid is gonna put the warp on our gummy ship so that we can just warp to places we've been, but still. Like, you still have to fly to places you haven't been before, like unknown worlds and warp zones. So, uh. There's Sid. What you got there, little boy? Well, if it ain't a gummy block, doesn't he sell those? Or... I don't know. I know he does, but um, maybe not till later. Dialogue that you don't need to know. I will, I'll sum up the dialogue for you because I love you so much. He says, hey, you're an idiot because you don't know what a gummy piece is. And then he says, shut up, we need a gummy ship. 
And then he says, okay, okay, okay. And then he tells us about gummy ships and his gummy ship training. And then he wants us to come over to his house. And bell rings. And... Ta-da! Anyway, so I was just to come to his house, unsupervised, except for him. Do you smell trouble? Anyway, so um, until next time, this is Ace Gamer 24 10 and I'm out. So, uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and see you guys later.